Hi, welcome to Alliance Communications. Are you trying to figure out why your internet maybe isn't working the way you expect or want it to? This tutorial is going to help guide you step by step to use a speed test app to view your download and upload speeds on a specific device. Before you start, there are a few things you will need. You will need to know your Apple ID and password for purchases in the App Store. You will also want to know what speed of internet you have from Alliance. If you don't know your speed, please call us during business hours or look on your monthly statement. Every device and software version might look a little bit different. However, each step will be similar. First, we are going to go through the steps to download the speed test app on your Apple device. From your home screen, click on App Store. In the App Store, you will do a search for speed test. You want to select the speed test by Ookla. It should be a black app with a speedometer icon displaying in white. You will press Get if you haven't downloaded this app before. It will then ask you to install. Once you press Install, it will prompt you for your Apple ID password. Once you enter, press Sign In. This will download the app to your home screen. In my example, this app has been downloaded to my device before. I will click the cloud icon to re-download the app to my device. Either way, once the app is downloaded, you will press the open button to open the speed test app you just downloaded. You may get a message requesting to access your location while you are using the app. This is encouraged since the app will find network information specific to your area. Choose allow. Then choose next. Then you will get a request from Ookla to collect analytics and crash reports. This is up to you. Last, you should see the privacy notice. Once read, press done. You will see server identities listed below the go button. As long as you allowed the app to access your location, you should see SDN communications and Alliance communications. If not, you can use the blue change server link to update the information. Next, you will press the Go circle to begin the speed test. Depending on your current download and upload speed, your device, and other Wi-Fi uncertainties, the test may take some time. You will see the progress as it completes. Once the test is done, your results will display. It will provide you a download and upload speed. It's usually a good idea to complete the test two or three times to get average speed results. Compare these results with your build, download, and upload speed. Also remember, if you are using a Wi-Fi connection, you will almost never get your true speed. In my example, my download speed is just over 55 meg, my upload is just over 61 meg. You can complete these same steps on each device, hardwired or wireless, that you have in your house to determine speeds on a specific device. This will help you and us identify if you need a faster speed, need to upgrade a device, or if there could be other equipment, such as a router, causing your issue. It's a few steps, but once the app is downloaded, it's a quick way to see why your internet might not be working the way you want it to. If you have any troubles or questions, any concerns about your speed results, call us and we will be happy to help you out. Thanks for spending time with us today.